one can escape We're lost Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Battlefront 2 space map, which is uh, called Stargate Battlefront Pegasus. I believe this was based off the book Stargate. And then you have your uh, very interesting name sides. I think it said the Tari and the Sari. Probably butchered both those names, or got one of them wrong. But they really didn't put any effort into sides, I see. But I see a lot of the effort went into the... Uh, Went into the ships, went into the, uh, indoor, the outside of the ships, um, fighters, probably the symbols and the names. Oh, is that what they come out of? That's pretty interesting, actually. Ooh, hello! I'm, gu I'm guessing the battle's really supposed to be taking place outside, but... Due, due to the fact that... You can't, you can't shoot any damn thing out there with these crappy vehicles. And that, if you try... They'll just blow you out of the sky, those other things. I would not recommend doing space battle, just just do ground battle. It may not be as exciting, but it's still better than continually dying getting really annoyed. I don't think so, bitch. I do- I really do like the inside of the ship, though. It's really nice. Yep, I didn't think so. Oh, that's right, I forgot about this. Yeah, all these hives are really cool. I'm gonna do a fly around in this. Really does look nice. I mean, there's really not much else to it, but it's it's still really nice. And compared to our exit, this is really cool. Ooh! That sounds different. I like that. Oh, you have to aim up on this one. I, I see, okay. Got him! Killed my first person of the game. Via space battle. I mean, it's, it's much more difficult to shoot this thing just, just because. Like, I don't really get why I don't regenerate health faster, that would be nice. I really do like the sound of this, it's just, just uh, something about it makes it sound so interesting. Got him! Uh... Oh wait, that's right, I'm not playing as a stupid uh, engineer, that's, that's why. Huh. Yeah, I'm just tr I'm trying to steer clear of their uh what whatever you want to call them frigates. I believe that's what they're called. Okay. Um Ah, crap. Yeah, you see what I mean, those 
whatever you want to call them. Uh, okay, so we got the F-302s. Their cruisers are definitely outmatching us. Okay, I got my main gunner. Let's go. We're not winning by much, but we are winning. Mainly because of the frigates. No, I don't even remember who worked on this project. Could have been AKT, could have been a Maver Ritual, could have been... Could have been uh, Anakin from Game Toast. You know, this really could have been anybody. Like, I feel like I, sh I'm sp I know who it is, but I just can't, won't guess their name correctly. See what I mean? Like, this doesn't do anything. Okay. Note to self. What the hell was that? Assholes. You can't get me from all the way down there. Those fucking AI pissing me off now. But at least we're still winning, and I, and I really need to go into some type of anger management classes or something. Because every time I get shot, it's from a perfectly well well shot AI unit, which is not fair. And you can't even can't exactly lock on to much, can you? Uh. Okay. Our shields are offline? Well, we don't really care much about that, do we? You see what I mean? Like, you even- look at that. Where are you supposed to go exactly? Hmm, did they use Kamino as the planet? You can't shoot them down, but if you get near one of their- one of their ex extremely overpowered frigates, you will get shot down, so it doesn't even matter what you do. In a way, it just doesn't matter. You you get shot down either way. Whether from one of their frigates or from one of your own. See what I mean? Like you can't you can't shoot anything. When you do, it's not exactly good. These things have better accuracy than I do. I mean, I still have a good time with this, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of impossible to have any fun with this with all those frigates trying to shoot you down. See what I mean? Like they more or less lock onto you, and you can't do anything about it. I mean, you could always try to do something about it, but most likely nothing good, nothing good will come out of it. I at least got a hit marker, we have some excitement. Look at that, like... How the heck am I supposed to shoot that? You saw I was getting him on target. Of course. How the hell did you get me, though? Like, you're all the way over there. You know what? Let me try something. You know what? Oh, we have guided rockets! You know what? If I knew that, then well... I would've been on here, wouldn't I? So what? It's 112 to 168, okay. Never mind. Dang it, I missed. You can't hit anything with this. Now I see why I was the driver. Of course, like. See, couldn't do anything about that. Well, Alright, looks like that concludes this gameplay of Stargate Battle from Pegasus. Pretty interesting yet pretty boring. If you know if you know how to play this, then it's probably really fun. I was really angry with this because I could not shoot anything.
Uh, that's probably what the guided missile systems were for, though. Eh, well, if you like this, then you can download it. I think I just downloaded it because it looked pretty neat, and this was probably my fifth time playing it, and I continually got shot out of the sky. So, uh, anyways, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.